What's up, YouTube? This is Russell from Russell's Reef coming to you with episode 19 of the Waterbox 70.3 build. Uh, this episode, we're going to go over the struggles that we've been having with the tank, mainly with uh, keeping Montiporas. So, as most of you guys know, we've dealt with some bleaching issues of the Monty caps on and off for the last two or three months, and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. So, this episode, we're going to take a look, try to find out what's wrong, and try to get it corrected and turn this tank around. Thanks for tuning in. Let's take a look. So, let's get right into it. Um, this episode's going to be mostly about Montiporas and how I'm struggling to keep them alive in this tank. Uh, for the first three or four months, everything was going fine. My Montes were all colored up, looking nice. But for the last probably four months, they've been off and on, just bleaching out and just look pretty bad. Um, as you can see there, there used to be a green cap and a purple cap underneath that. All the greens are pretty much gone. Uh, the red Montipora cap... Although it looks decent in this picture, the only part where it has good color is around the new growth tips. Everything else is super thin skinned, growing algae. Um, so it's kind of a mystery for me. I don't really understand, especially these red Monty caps. These things are pretty much indestructible. So I'm going to look into a, a couple things because we can rule out the nutrient issue. I know it's not because of low nutrients um, because I've been feeding like crazy and it still looks pretty awful. And it's not just the uh, Montipora cap, Bacornis. It's also the Digitatas kind of always look not great. And I have a Montipora Confusa. I think is what it's called. And same thing's happening with that one. Uh, the polyps are out and the polyps look fine, but the actual skin of the coral is almost completely bare. And that's the same thing with all the Montipora caps. So what I'm trying to figure out is if it is a chemistry issue. Um, I've read low magnesium I've been testing my magnesium and it's been around 1400, so I don't think it's that. Uh, I also read low potassium could have an effect on it. So I started dosing part B and part C, uh, red C colors. Um, I guess that's basically iron and potassium. So that's what we're going with right now, what we're looking at. And since I started dosing, I've definitely noticed something, especially with the dosing of the iron. I think that's supposed to bring out greens. Um, I think my tank was completely iron deficient because I had no algae growing. And once I started dosing that iron, uh, the green, like in my green slimer and a couple other corals really started popping. And more importantly, I started getting algae again, which was good because I think I had so much green hair algae for so long, maybe it just consumed all the iron. Um, I don't know, but that digitata there definitely looks better since I started dosing a little iron. Um, it's something I'm going to just keep an eye on. As you can see, that Montipora cap right there, you can see the little orange polyps are still out but the skin is just gray so that's kind of with what i'm dealing with um also looking around you can notice some of the zoas are a little bit closed um that's because of the cyanobacteria i've been dealing with since i was uh, overfeeding for quite a while uh there's the red cap you can see where it's starting to grow back but still doesn't look the same uh, torch is doing all right. Not really thriving, but hanging in there. Zogarn looks all right. Um, that branching Cyphastria hasn't grown at all. <laughs> Basically had it for, I don't know, three months. It hasn't done anything. Uh, let's see, the Digitata. It, that one kind of comes and goes, but same thing. It has good polyp extension, but the skin just looks awful looks like 
pretty much bleach white. Uh, the SPS up top are doing okay. Um, they're starting to get a little bigger. They don't look like little frags anymore, which is nice. Uh, I had to move the Garf Bonsai, the purple one. I moved it from the left side to more of the center, so it gets a little bit more flow and a little bit more light. Uh, I think that's really going to help it <clears throat> help it out because it just seemed to be fading out there, not getting enough flow. Uh, I can tell it definitely loves light too because once it starts getting the light, those green polyps start popping, which is awesome. So basically, I think my tank is either lacking some trace elements or possibly I have a pest, maybe uh, Monty Nudibranchs, but I don't think that it's that. Um, I haven't seen any, I've never had them before, so I don't know exactly what to look for, but I just think it's kind of weird that it is just mainly the Montiporas that are being affected. Um, so yeah, we'll continue to take a look, but, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is send in an ICP test and get all my parameters tested, which will be really cool. So I'm going to send that out this week and then hopefully in a couple weeks we'll get some results and then maybe they'll shed a little light on this. Maybe it won't, who knows? Um, but it will be interesting to see because for this tank, I think it's been up about seven or eight months and I've only done like five water changes probably um, of no more than five gallons each. So I'm definitely not doing enough water changes and we definitely could be losing some trace elements they could be missing. Another thing I'm going to do to try to turn the tank around a little bit is I'm going to start doing regular water changes. Uh, I had an established tank that was about three years old and I never did water changes on it. But I think for this tank, just the way it's going, since it's younger and things aren't really established and we're kind of dealing with different cyanobacteria blooms and algae blooms, I think I'm going to start doing regular water changes, probably five gallons, maybe every other week and see how the corals react to that because the tank is like pretty close. It's doing, doing pretty good. But if you look at some of the SPS, they definitely are, they're not thriving. They're, they're just kind of hanging in there. Some of them are thriving and growing and encrusting, but a lot of them are just kind of hanging in there, especially the smaller frags. So definitely want to just try to get those back on track and uh, basically just get the SPS to kind of take off is what I'm going for because it's been eight months. So we should begin to that point where things start to calm down and settle in and everything starts to take off. It's kind of hard to tell on this video because I shot this right after I did a water change, so the sand looks really good because I just vacuumed up all the little cyano patches and it's shot at night under blue lights with the uh, polyp lap lens, so everything always looks way better <laughs> on camera than it does in real life. I mean, the tank still looks really good, especially under blues, but this these videos definitely hide like all of the imperfections. Um, and the reason why I shoot it under blues is because it's super hard to film during the day. Um, basically if I try filming during the day, there's glares all over the place and the image quality just looks awful. So that's the reason why I do that. Well, that's about all I got. If anyone who's watching has any ideas or any insight, on what you think might be affecting my Montiporas, uh, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it just because I'm kind of at a loss. Hopefully this ICP test will help. Um, we'll see in a couple weeks. Uh, till then, we'll just keep doing water changes and hopefully the tank just improves a little bit and everything gets back on track. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll close out the video with a little bit of bonus content. Um, I did have two Aptasias in my tank, so I took a little video of me attempting to remove the Aptasia without actually 
cutting it and making a million baby Aptasias. Uh, I did this, uh, it's been like two weeks since I did it. Um, spoiler alert, I have little baby Aptasias everywhere. It did not work very well. So if you're watching this, do a better job than I did. All right, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching.